So I've just returned from seeing Graham Hancock um, speaking at the Royal Geographical Society in London. And uh, here is a clip of him speaking about Atlantis. This was part of a wider lecture on his belief in the existence of an advanced Ice Age civilization. There will be a longer video on the channel with me explaining my thoughts on the lecture on the whole. But this is an interesting snippet I wanted to share with you. But I want to make the point that Atlantis is, does not sound alone. It's one of hundreds of myths and traditions from all around the world that speak of a great form of civilization that was destroyed in a global cataclysm, and that cataclysm primarily took the form of a flood. So Plato provides us with the earliest surviving reference to a place called Atlantis. And he does so in his dialogues, the Timaeus and the Critias. And the characteristics of Atlantis included advanced architecture, advanced agriculture, advanced navigational shipbuilding and seagoing skills, advanced social and political organization. Plato tells us that it was once a beautiful and, and generous culture, but that it became cruel, and that it began to impose its power elsewhere around the world and that it, um, I love this phrase, that it ceased to carry its prosperity with moderation. It became overblown, conceited, uh, stuffed up with pride, which is a dangerous thing to do in this universe. Uh, Plato prefaces the story with an account of a celestial cataclysm, quote, a variation in the course of the heavenly bodies, um, which he describes as a mythical version of the truth. And we learn that in a single dreadful day of night, Atlantis was swallowed up by the sea and vanished. And mankind had to begin again, like children, with no memory of what went before. Now, the source of the story, according to Plato, was his ancestor, the famous lawmaker Solon. And Solon did visit Egypt. He made a famous visit to Egypt, round about the year 600 BC. And according to Plato's story, while in Egypt, Solon was given the story of Atlantis by Egyptian priests at the temple of uh, Sais uh, in the Delta, a temple that no longer exists. Those priests had pointed to inscriptions on the walls, and they told Solon that, um, that they referred to a great civilization of ancient times, which angered the gods and which was destroyed in a flood. And when Solon asked them, when did this happen? When was Atlantis flooded? The priests immediately answered, 9,000 years ago. So that's in 600 BC, and it's 9,000 years ago. So that's a date, we can put that date in our calendar. We can call that date 9,600 BC, or 11,600 years ago. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.